All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today, man, we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Black Ops 6, which actually officially came out today. I mean, I guess if you quote unquote took a trip to New Zealand or whatever yesterday, you were able to play the game at like 6 o'clock a.m. Eastern or something like that on the 24th. But I didn't do that. I know some people that I know they did do that or whatever, like my friends who are still dedicated COD fans or whatever, but wasn't me i waited until midnight or whatever before i really started like watching gameplay or anything on black ops 6 right and while i was scrolling through twitter you know looking at clips of zombies and whatnot little clips of the campaign and stuff like that i saw a video that I shouldn't say it took me by surprise because, I mean, if this was like five years ago, it would have taken me a bit by surprise, but honestly, at this point, I'm not shocked in the slightest at what we're about to take a look at. So, obviously, Black Ops 6 is a brand new game. Now, Call of Duty and Activision Blizzard, they came out a couple days before the game came out, and they said that one of their, like, primary focuses, I guess, for this year of Call of Duty was that they were going to crack down on the hackers, right? They were going to try to eliminate the people who are basically hacking in Call of Duty within like an hour or two of them jumping on the game, right? So if you've played really Call of Duty or any major FPS in the last couple of years, you'll know that cheating has become quite a massive concern. I mean, people have always cheated in video games to a certain extent, but like now it's getting to the point where the people making these hacks and these cheats and whatnot, they're so fucking good at it that some of them are making not only legit money by running these businesses selling these cheats and shit but also they're making them harder and harder and harder to detect and making them even more efficient over time so you can probably imagine my shock a little bit right when on october 24th the day before call of duty actually officially released here in the u.s i already saw clips of people playing the game early and them literally cheating on the screen. So we're going to take a look at this video here real quick. Before we get too far into it, I want to point out that this video you're taking a look at here is in a private match from my understanding, right? So this is not somebody in a public match like actually ruining the game yet. I think it's more of like a proof of concept that cheats already work in the game. But here you go. Uh, Atlanta phase, yeah? Yeah. So basically, the clip shows this guy with an LMG. Obviously, you see the boxes on the screen outlining the enemies through the wall and through the terrain and whatnot. And every time that he basically ADSs or shoots his gun or whatever, the gun locks on to the targets for him. It's basically an automatic headshot, free kill, whatever you want to call it, right? Now, obviously, this has been a problem in Call of Duty for years now. I've talked about it in previous videos and all this other shit, but this is pretty fucking insane. So I want to point out, too, this video was posted to Twitter October 24th. 2024 at 8:30 p.m. So this is about three and a half hours before the game came out in my region, right? And there were already people posting themselves in private match, fucking aimbotting and hacking, right? So you might be like, oh, but 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 Optimus, this isn't a private match, bro. This can't be the real game. But unfortunately, that is exactly how this works. This is the real game. So if you can basically like hack and aimbot or whatever in a private match, you can do the same thing in multi player i mean it's all part of the same fucking game mode it's all part of the multiplayer functionality right so you've already accessed the servers and whatnot you've already logged into your activision account or whatever that part has already been done and you can still basically do this shit there. So I would assume this pretty much automatically carries over to multiplayer, right? I mean, the game wasn't even really officially released yet worldwide. You know what I mean? There were still several different regions that had yet to get the game. And by that point, people were literally already fucking cheating in the game. So, I mean, obviously, whatever Activision did or, like, the massive changes that they were trying to flex to their fucking anti-cheat and whatnot, apparently that shit just straight up did not work. Because, I mean, like I said, if the game isn't even out yet, that, that's the crazy part, you know? I've seen clips of Call of Duty cheaters, like, the days after the game comes out or, like, the weeks after, but when the game isn't even officially out worldwide yet and people are already showing themselves on social media fucking cheating on your game, that's when you know 
that there's a real problem, right? Like there's an actual issue. So obviously, you know, all of this shit that Call of Duty and Activision Blizzard did to try and, I guess, stamp out all these cheaters an hour into playing the game or whatever. I mean, it really doesn't seem like it's working already. Now, outside of this clip, there are already people who are like, oh yeah, in the match that I played or whatever at midnight, I ran into people hacking too. Now, a lot of these people, obviously, don't, they don't provide any video clips, they don't provide any evidence, so it's kind of hard to take them at face value, but at the same time, I mean, this is a pretty known problem in COD, right? Like, the issue with this whole debate is that so many people are so differently good at the game, right? Like, some people are just dog shit at COD, right? They're just garbage, you know? They, if they're in even a decent lobby, they'll average like 4 and 32, right? Like, they're just terrible. Now, to people like that, they probably think like fucking everybody's cheating you know like you fucking pre-aim a hallway and they're like wow well, how, how did he know i was coming there shit like that right but i mean this is just blatant you know i mean he's like he's aiming through walls has boxes and circles and shit all over the screen auto snapping on heads this is very obvious. This is very blatant. You know what I mean? But then again, like I said, some people are like, oh, bro, I already ran into cheaters. If you have video evidence of it, that would be way better. I don't know. All right, so you just took a look at another clip I just also found on Twitter. Now, this is a different person filming. I think this is the same map, and, like, it's also a private match bot lobby or whatever, right? But this is another account that is doing the same thing, right? So we now have footage of two different people who've proved that if you go into private match with mods or hacks or whatever, right, Apparently, the game is not detecting it or something. Now, I don't know if this is an issue with, like, how the Ricochet anti-cheat really works or whatever. I really don't know. You know, like, it could be a couple different things, but I don't know if it only checks for cheats if you're loading into multiplayer lobbies. If that's the case, that's pretty fucking stupid, right? Because even though it'd be kind of counterintuitive, like, then couldn't people cheat in zombies or, like, couldn't people cheat in private matches or land tournaments or whatever it may be? Like, shit that doesn't take place on the actual, like, match matchmaking. I don't know how the whole thing is set up. I don't work at Activision Blizzard. All I know is, you know, we heard all these fucking reports and whatnot about how, oh, in Call of Duty this year, we're cracking down, brah. You know, all, all these people fucking cheating, all these people hacking in the game, we're doing something about it this year. Well, apparently not. I mean, honestly, this is one of the worst times I've ever seen it. Like, at least in previous Call of Duty games, you could play the midnight release and there wasn't a worry that people were literally hacking the cheating and breaking the game out of the gate, right? I mean, fuck it, not even out of the gate. Before the gates have even opened, people are fucking cheating, right? Like, it just, it, it really doesn't make sense on the grand scheme of things, you know? Like, these, this is a game too, by the way, that took like three plus years, I'm pretty sure, for Treyarch to develop, okay? I think this is the first COD in multiple years that got a full three-year cycle for development. And Activision Blizzard is like this massive company. This is a franchise that makes billions every single year. It's a $70 AAA video game, and still, even then, with all the money that it makes, all the resources that it has at its disposal, they still cannot find a way to stop people from fucking cheating. Now, obviously, the vast majority of people cheating, especially in manners like this, where they've got boxes on the screen and they're auto-headlocking and shit like that, the majority of that is happening on PC. So if you're playing on, like, your PlayStation or your Xbox, and you just turn off cross Crossplay that will probably solve a lot of the issue because when you know cross-platform gaming became way more popular and especially in like Call of Duty when they started introducing it to where you could play with your friends on PlayStation from PC or Xbox from PC whatever right that's when the cheating really got out of hand in COD before that right you like Black Ops 2 that game was pretty much golden for like two years right and then after like its year of possibility and the cycle was gone and it became like kind of the not latest Call of Duty, then that's when people started hacking and cheating and doing all the crazy shit and ruining the game, right? But this is like a brand new fucking Call of Duty game where this shit is happening, man. And not only that, it's a brand new Call of Duty game where like even the devs and the publisher were like flexing what they were about to do. The absolute shit they were going to take on the hackers. And now the hackers are literally just laughing in their fucking face like, oh yeah, you guys are going to, you're going to ban us within an hour of us playing? <laughs> take a look at this shit day zero, bro. 
bruh. Like, I mean, I don't know. It, like, if I was a developer or whatever at Treyarch, a video like this might make my fucking head explode. You know what I mean? But the thing is, is obviously, like, you know, Activision said that they were going to handle this or whatever, but they've said this in previous years, too. So, like, when they say shit like that, it's already hard to take them serious because very, very rarely does a company like Activision Blizzard actually follow through on their promises to handle something. But, like, you would think this would be one they really were going to handle. Now, people are obviously like, oh, well, the people doing this shit, they're going to get their account banned and whatnot. But the problem is, is that the game comes with game pass and you know you can get keys to activate it or whatever for cheaper online after release and it's not necessarily hard to make a new activision account there's just so many loopholes and ways around it to where hackers don't really face any legitimate punishment when they do shit like this in games i mean yeah you ban the account or whatever that they're playing on and then they just go get a new account and they go get a new copy of the game or they go get a new cheat client whatever it may be and to kind of wrap all this up what i really don't get like don't get me wrong i'm not the biggest call of duty fan anymore or whatever right like I'll try it out because it's on game pass and it's free or whatever but like the days of me pre-ordering COD and like waiting graciously for its release now that's really behind me you know what I mean but my thing is is like the people doing this shit right they obviously care about Call of Duty they obviously care about playing the game because they're spending money on cheats to cheat in the game right but I don't even get why you would want to do that right like this is a brand new Call of Duty game right like this is a COD with prestige and like camo grinds and new maps and shit wouldn't you think like if you wanted to play call of duty not even on day one like at this point before it's even officially out everywhere right if you want to go through all that trouble to like play the game why wouldn't you want to just play the game legit like i get why people you know they cheat in competitive even though i'm not agreeing with it i get why people do it and i like i get why people cheat in like you know paid matches or like halfway through the game's life cycle i understand that but like the game just came out and you don't even really want to play the game you know like you just want to fucking download something that aims for you and shoots for you or whatever right like what is the point in even playing the game and like trying to grind at that point bro like if that's really what you want to do the day the fucking game even touches anybody's hands like what's really the point in playing games like this or giving a fuck about games like this you're just kind of ruining your own experience in a way right so anyway i just wanted to talk about this because obviously it's a phenomenon that we're already seeing and I think it's only going to get worse from here, unfortunately. But anyway, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at Subdoptimus. Make sure to check out Shoptimus down below. Thank you to my Watch Optimus subscribers. Your support helps the channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, talking about hackers in Black Ops 6 and signing out. And that's a wrap on this video, but big shout out to my Optimus Nation supporters. You guys are the real MVPs. For $10 a month, you get access to loads of exclusive videos and archived live streams, my members only Minecraft server where you can possibly appear in gameplay, early access to all new uploads, an invitation to the private discord, and much more.